different players and it, so it does make everybody look good um, just the way he draws things up and um, has certain plays for certain teams and makes everybody look pretty good. What do you feel like you're trying to elevate your game this fall? Um, I feel like I need to get a little bit better in line blocking, um, especially some of those bigger DNs that we play against. Uh, I know I'm one of the smaller tight ends, but uh, I can still um, move guys so with my power, so I just need to get up under them and move them. What have you seen from Jaden Ham so far, even going back to, to spring practice? Yeah, um, obviously he came in early as a freshman, um, graduated early. Uh, he's a he's one of us, you know. Um, he came in, picked up on things really quickly. Um, all the run plays, pass plays, like I said, Coach K has a lot of different plays that we put in the playbook, and uh, you got to get with it unless you're going to fall behind. And he picked on it, up on it pretty well. What's it like having kind of outside of him, really? Everyone back in the room. Just what's that like for you guys, continuity-wise? Yeah, uh, the camaraderie is crazy. You know, uh, we we all know each other really well. We all know what to expect from each other. We all have great relationships with each other. It's just nice being in the same room. You know, all of us together. You know, coming out here and playing football again. How, how does that translate onto the field? Is that something that helps on the field, or, or walking through that? Yeah, um, off-field relationships make it way better on the field. Um, you have that trust that's earned. Uh, off the field and it carries on to the field. You just know that the other guy's going to get the job done and it'll help you get your job done too. Has anything felt different about the start of this fall camp versus maybe previous ones? Uh, I feel like it's a little harder uh, <laughs> than the previous ones. Nah, um, you know, it's just more intense. Uh, we got uh, bigger goals, bigger aspirations um, to strive for this year. Expectations have changed and uh, we got to go and get it. Talk about Jaden and a few other guys. Does that kind of fire you up to see more more Kansas kids coming to play for KU? Yeah, um, I, I always talk to a lot, especially back home, you know, in the Hayes area, the Salina areas. I always get uh, DMs from, uh, you know, high school kids, like, what can I do? What did you do? Um, you know, just keep working, keep striving. Don't let anyone tell you what you can't do because uh, just go do yourself. What is, that usually, what, what is usually your message? You kind of said part of it there, but what usually is your message when they – want to know your advice yeah um like i said you just got to be yourself um and do it for uh you got to find your why they always talk about finding your why um you know i do it for my family and everyone back home um my parents all my siblings um so i, I feel like finding your why and knowing why you do it um and you know obviously when you get here it's bigger than yourself but uh getting yourself to this point and uh, find your why for you guys as an offense where do you feel like you guys can take the, the biggest step forward this season um i would say uh, just like our confidence going into games, confidence, um, you know, as the games go on, you know, we started out 5-0 and last year, and that one, that one TCU game hurt us, and it kind of hurt us along the stretch, lost there three in a row, I think. Um, so I think, like, the way we approach the game, uh, knowing that we can compete with anybody and everybody, not only in the Big 12, but outside the Big 12, um, I feel like the confidence is, needs to be there. Did Jalen look any different this time around compared to a year ago? Um, he's obviously bigger. <laughs> we we all gotten a lot bigger and stronger and faster. So, uh, you know, he's a little bit more powerful. So, he can take a few more hits probably, even though he needs to slide a little bit more probably. <laughs> Who, who's impressed you most with their body transformation over the last year, two years? Um, I would say Andrew Russell, one of our safeties. Uh, he's, he's insane. I mean, he came in here. Uh, I think he's lost somewhere close to 10% body fat. So uh, his his body transformation in Amaze Adams Reed, he was 400 pounds I think when he came in, and he's obviously down a lot, lost a lot of body fat, and so those two stick out to me. Thanks. Thanks.